generally speaking, most of the children here probably don't have gardens at home. And so when initially we started our garden, I think a couple of years ago, when food was produced and it was coming into the kitchen covered in dirt and mud and etc. and bugs sometimes, they weren't particularly impressed. So, you know, they had to kind of get used to that idea. We come out here in groups, usually they're groups of five or six, depending on the size of the class. And we dig a lot of digging, everybody loves digging, do a lot of digging, planting, growing, everything to do with the garden. Can we get a couple of people in the greenhouse? What we're doing today, we're picking tomatoes, potatoes, peas, coriander, carrots, virtually anything that's in season at the moment, we will pick and we will use in the kitchen. The school has a mixture, a range of um, students from moderate learning difficulties to severe learning difficulties. The students that we're going to be working with today are, have all have some moderate learning difficulties and they range from year 7 up to year 11. And I've specifically chosen these children because um, they, they love cooking. If you tell how they write, look, if you feel good, if you feel those, feel that, they're just hard. feel that, they're hard. Right? Yeah. You can't be immediately certain if they're red that they're ready for picking. That's why we have to give them a little squeeze and make sure that they've got a bit of give. If they've got a bit of give and they come away from the plant itself easily, they're ready and they're ripe. You wait till the plant is showing signs of dying down, going yellow, you think, well, it's probably about ready. You put the spade in, put it in gently in the ground so you're not damaging too many potatoes. You push the spade down, lift up the plant and hope for the best. What you want to do is pick the ones that are really dark red, really dark red. OK, look, they're all, can you see? Yeah. Right there, there, look, look, loads of them down there, OK? When I told the children that Michael was coming to the school, they were very excited. Um, they are certainly very excited that they were going to be cooking with him. Michael, welcome to Bellevue School. Good morning. Right, thank you. I'm going to take you up to the food technology room. We're really excited about having you here. Um, what are your plans for today? Well, we're hoping to take some of the produce that the pupils have picked this morning and then we're going to actually cook with them and then ultimately we're going to eat it together. And what are you actually hoping to cook? Well, I've got sort of spicy flavours in mind and I hope to make a vegetarian curry for us all. Sounds very good. I hope I'm going to be invited to the... You're, uh... you're the guest of honour. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> OK, come in, wash your hands, put an apron on. They were very quiet to begin with because they were a little bit nervous, I think, and a little bit unsure of what was going on. Um, but once they got into, you know, they realised they're just picking things from the garden, which is something they always do, and then they were just coming in here, which is something that they always do, and, you know, I'm always doing demonstrations, and, you know, Michael has been here before, so I think, um, I think they did it really well. I'm very lucky today to have Michael Coker here, who's going to cook with you. So, Michael, hand it over to you. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm your chef for the day. What we're going to do today is we're going to make a vegetable curry and serve it with rice. If you can see on the board, if you turn round, we're going to cook, cut the garlic, ginger, chilli, then the onions, then the tomatoes, and then the different vegetables. Yeah. So they need one onion each, yeah. don't they? Yeah, give those out. Yeah. Okay, Tempatages. who's going to chop the onion over here? Gemma, who's going to yeah. chop the onion? Okay. Yeah, do you remember how we did it? How do you think it's like this with a knife? Oh, try. Do you want to do the potatoes and we'll, we'll do the onion? We have lots and lots of cooking classes and um, we run after school clubs as well, so they get lots of opportunities to practice their skills. So for them it was just normal. We do lots and lots of chopping up and knife skills. Are you doing a good job there? I'm actually just going to go around now and clear up a little bit and check on their mise en place and make sure that they've uh, got nice clean workstations and then we're going to um, start cooking. So, we're looking quite good at the moment. We're making a tomato salsa dip. So the kids are chopping up some red onion and some tomatoes, some peppers and we've also got some chilies. 
The salsa recipe comes from my recipe book and the recipes were trialled by the kids in this kitchen. The purpose of the recipe book was to enable these kids in particular who have difficulty with reading traditional recipes, just to allow them access to being able to read a recipe and to, to prepare food independently. Everything just goes in together. I've chopped the chilies up nice and small so hopefully it won't be too hot. Fresh. Okay. So give it a bit of a stir. AJ, do you want to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in? That's it. Good. And I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil, not too much. Okay. And Gemma, do you want to stir that for me? Really? Yep, yeah. Stir it up. So we're going to serve that with our curry. Let's have a look. It's looking good. My LSAs and I will step back and we don't take over and we don't say, you know, step in and, and do it for them ever really, unless we're running out of time. So we give them as much time as they need to chop whatever it is they're chopping or to, to measure or to do whatever it is they're doing with verbal prompts. Um, but we don't take over and we let them do as much as possible, which encourages independence. Oh my god, you <laughs> put in your chili, garlic, ginger well done. Excuse me. I think I'm getting it stuck to your food. Here we go, that's the turmeric. They quite often cook together, they cook in pairs, so they're used to doing things together. Um, sometimes they cook on their own as well, it depends what we're making. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of friendship building and you know, cooking is so social, so they, you know, they feel free and relaxed to just to chat to each other. Come on, AJ, you're quicker than me. And I'm still on the door. Come on, AJ, let's go. Yeah, yeah. And put, put it in. A little bit more. Yeah, a bit more. Have you got a lid? Yes. Yeah. Come around this way. So my curries is well on the way now. That process of adding things gradually and adding things in a particular order. Some chickpeas. In terms of a curry was different. However, we make pasta dishes and we make lots of other things as well where they do follow a sequence and, they, and they're quite good at remembering the order of things. Right. Yeah. That's Arja Patti, yeah? It looks like a pancake. Well, it is. It's a bit like an Indian pancake. You're going to roll out some chapatis. I will cook them once you have made them. Add your pot of flour over. Can you just put some flour down on your bench? Yep, yeah, that's enough. That's it. Where's the flour? That's the flour. We start with a nice round ball to begin with. That makes it a little bit easier. So if you start in the middle and then push it down and roll that way and then pick it up and go back to the middle and roll it this way and then turn it that way. And now middle, out, that's it. Good. Stick it. Mm -hmm. okay. See where the others are? Well, See uh, where our nose is? We're going to make a uh, fruit smoothie now. So we've got raspberries, strawberries, oh. red currants and blueberries as well. Mm. They are very good. Fresh picked from the garden today. Okay, pour some juice in. That's it, and stop. Let's put some strawberries in. What else do you think we should put in, guys? You choose. I think it doesn't really matter, um, you know, sort of what they put into it. As long as, you know, once that they tasted it, they were able to kind of like analyse whether it was too sweet or too bitter or and work out which fruit was causing it to be that way. Can you taste one for me and, and tell us? 
Sweet or bitter? Bitter. 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 Yeah, they're a bit bitter, aren't they? Okay, guys, I think you can turn it off now. Yeah, turn it off. <laughs> yeah, turn it off. <laughs> if we just put a little bit into each glass, and then you can all taste it and see what you think. So pass them around. Hey, do you want to taste it? Yeah. Mm. Say, do you want to taste? No. See, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like it as well. Yeah. Yeah. AJ, would you like to taste? Sweet. Bitter. I would say we're very lucky here that we do have lots of cooking classes and all the children get to cook every year, generally at least once a week over a six week period. And for these kids in particular, just to have that, um, that level of independence in one part of their life, um, I think is invaluable to them for their confidence as well. Okay guys, you need to add some coriander as well. I'm gonna give you a handful. If you can just take out all the little bits that are dirty and get rid of all that and then you can chop it up and put it in. You don't even need a knife, you can just use your fingers. You can smell it lovely and fresh. It's fresh from the garden. You can smell the freshness. <laughs> you ready? So that one's cooked. I'll right, put yours in. That's it, drop it in and use that to move it around, yeah, and just cook it. They've done a great job. Yep, sounds good. Smell Curry that. Looks fabulous. Ah, oh, that's great. Excellent. I've seen it from the garden to the kitchen and then to the table, and then they get to sit down and enjoy a meal with their guest as well and kind of almost show off, you know, what they've done for the day, which I think they're really proud of themselves. Miles, what do you think? Are you excited? Uh, yeah, I'm, happy, yeah. Happy to be a guest in our Yeah, I'm happy to be a guest. Thanks yeah. to Gemma. Would you like some salsa? Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hands. Thank you. The famous curry. Thank you. Are they shimmery? Nice. Is that how you drink it, Fred? No, no, no. It's not me. How do you? You two are guests, aren't you? Yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, good. <laughs> This is about developing our children emotionally. This is about us being together as a community. This is about us learning together and developing together and growing together. And our school motto is a community growing together. And I think this just reflects that totally. I actually felt very proud of them. And I felt a sense of achievement that we've actually picked the food, cooked it and served it. And then we all sat down and enjoyed lunch together. And it actually gave me quite a buzz and I was very proud of the dishes they cook today, and they should be very proud of themselves as well. I personally, I love cooking. I find it relaxing, I find it therapeutic, it's social, it's fun, you know, and I want everyone to have access to that because I think it's just something that is essential for life.